Hello there, folks. My name is Spooks, and I saw The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and it was fantastic. Like, I was already really excited for this movie because the director worked on Gravity Falls and it had Phil Lord and Chris Miller's names attached to it. But even then, I was fully unprepared for how much I would love this movie. It's just that good. And definitely puts Sony Pictures Animation a step closer to becoming one of the most acclaimed and well-received animation studios making Hollywood movies out there. First off, the animation is groundbreaking. Using the similar techniques and styles of Sony's previous masterpiece, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, this movie uses a style that combines CGI 3D animation with 2D animation that makes it look stylized and stand out from the crowd and honestly makes this movie a little more revolutionary. But unlike Spider-Verse that was trying to emulate the style of a comic book, this more is more trying to emulate the style of a modern animated series like Gravity Falls or regular shows with the simplistic designs of the characters and the settings. And the animators at Sony have definitely mastered the technique of combining 2D and computer animation since Spider-Verse. With the simple designs and the use of outlines and colors, it allows the movie to give, give off this feeling of something being viewed from a flipbook or like I said earlier, even in a modern animated series, while the computer animation allows to give the characters more depth and detail. The story in here as well is also really good and very well executed. I know a lot of people had some concerns that the fact that this was turning, going from the Goofy movie to just Terminator and how jarring it was in the trailer, but in actuality, the movie actually executed this plot change twist in a very subtle and natural way that didn't feel like the movie was shifting gears and turning into a completely different movie for the second half, which is something most animated movies released nowadays suffer from. The characters are also likable and entertaining in this movie as well. You got the title characters of the movie, the Mitchells, who are just excellent and a delight to see on screen. You get what each character is going through regarding Katie going to college, and I haven't seen a family dynamic this strong since, well, The Incredibles. Their dynamic is real, authentic, and genuine as opposed to other films that feel melodramatic and sitcom-y. And also, yeah, the dog is adorable, and Pal is the best animated movie villain of the year. I know there are other animated movies coming out, and they may try and may even come close, but they will definitely not be Pal. She is just that good of a villain. And this is also, without question, the funniest movie I have seen in a while. Not just animated movie, but funniest movie. Sure, there may be one or two jokes they throw at you that misfire but then the movie throws in another seven or eight jokes and they will probably if not definitely make you laugh out loud it's got enough visual physical gags and certainly random jokes thrown in there that'll make the movie viewer entertained and definitely laugh out loud but the movie also knows when to slow down and calm down from its ridiculously hilarious funny moments and have some sweet and heartfelt moments where you actually genuinely care about the characters. And I say these moments are definitely effective and maybe even up there with Pixar. As for issues I have with this movie, maybe four or, or seven jokes fell flat for me as opposed to the 87 that made me laugh hard and maybe yeah some of the running gags can get a little tiresome after a while but really it's nothing huge or a big detriment that was worth taking points off for this movie as i think this movie is extremely phenomenal with even some moments near the end that could leave the viewer a little teary-eyed this is another win for Sony Picture Animation as it has groundbreaking animation, a great story, lovable characters, hilarious moments, and a ton of heart. If you have a Netflix subscription, and I don't know why you wouldn't at this point, definitely check it out when it comes out later this week. Or if your local iPic theater is open and it's close enough to you, and if you've got the money to pay for the really expensive tickets, then I definitely suggest to watch it there as I definitely think this is worthy of the theatrical experience but then again I pick movie theaters again cost like $30 for one person to see a movie so you might as well just stick to watching it on Netflix as I definitely highly recommend it and I wouldn't be surprised to see this as the best animated movie of the year later 
on this feature. It's hard to tell at this point, but it's starting to look like it. So, those were my thoughts on the Mitchells vs. the Machines. What did you guys think of it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all the social media links at the end of the video. And until next time, guys, stay sharp. Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey.